Growing up in South Africa, my grandmother really nurtured my artistic side. So did my mother. I think it's also because they needed me to do things. They needed to find things for me to do, which would occupy some time. And so my grandmother would bring clay. My mother would just give me paper and some pencils because she's a journalist. So, you know, I was just sitting in her office, waiting for her to finish work after school. She also worked at a broadcasting corporation. I would also sit and watch a lot of videos being made of television programs, etc. So I'd be led into that ethos of waking up every day in the morning to go and do something that you're passionate about. I saw a lot of creative people going to do that. And I think that influenced the way in which I work and the ethos around the way I see my practice. Uh, so it's wake up to go do this thing that you're passionate about because you have something to say. I think it became a little bit complex for my parents when I decided to be an artist because they did not understand how this was going to make money and how I was going to live as an adult. Growing up in South Africa also was not easy as a black woman. I thought to myself, because I grew up in a very matrilineal uh, family, that it was very liberal in a sense. But looking back, I can see now how some people will say it's tradition, but I look at it now and I'm like, mm -mm, that's patriarchy. That also affected the way and the lens in which I look at my artwork and make artwork. My work is centered around the idea of the black body in basically today's society, looking through maybe a historical lens. One has to look at it through the historical lens, a lens where one lends itself to sex, gender, race, history, culture, all those narratives come together under the spiritual umbrella. I make work about the spirit and the spiritual, which are centered in African mythologies and realities, really. It's not one or the other. They exist together, they work together, and I make work based on that as a black female. The project I'm working on for the Guangzhou Biennale doesn't really deviate from themes um, I've worked on before. They're actually quite in line with them. So I don't think it's anything very different for me. It's just that what I'm about to embark on is on a much bigger scale than I've ever made before, uh, which is quite daunting. But, you know, you, if you don't try, you'll never know.